Welcome to Tethered Thoughts with Bossa De Santos, your daily podcast where I deliver powerful God truths to fuel your success. My name is Bossa De Santos, your host, and I'm honored to journey with you towards attaining a success mindset. I lead Romans 8 19 Ministries, where we equip Christians to know who they are and what they have in Christ so they can live audacious and impactful lives. In each bite-sized episode, we'll dive into scriptures which affirm the mindsets which have propelled successful leaders, innovators, and visionaries to the heights they've attained. Join me every weekday for a quick, potent dose of eternal wisdom meets contemporary success. Hello friends and fellow world changers, it's Friday and trust you're looking forward to a well-deserved rest from this work week. The title of today's episode is The Blessing in Perseverance. Our focus scripture is James chapter 1 verse 12 and today I'll read from the Common English Bible and it reads, those who stand firm during testing are blessed, they are tried and true. They will receive the life God has promised to those who love him as their reward. James, the half-brother of Jesus and leader of the early church in Jerusalem, wrote this letter to encourage Christians facing persecution and various trials. His audience would likely have included Jewish Christians spread throughout uh, the Roman Empire who were dealing with poverty, oppression and hardships because of their faith. James here is emphasizing the importance of persevering through difficulties because trials refine and strengthen one's faith. The verse reassures believers that there is a divine reward for those who endure with unwavering faith. The crown of life represents eternal life and blessings that come from staying steadfast through adversity. Uh, the um, Common English Bible referred to it already as um, as life, you know, receiving life that God has promised to those who love him as their reward. So James here uh, presents a profound truth. That is, trials are not punishments, but opportunities to develop greater spiritual maturity and receive God's promises. The early Christian audience familiar with Roman culture would have understood the crown of life in the light of these Roman honors the um as athletes would receive a laurel um, wreath the equivalent of you know the, the gold silver and bronze medals today after enduring the hardships of competition believers who endure life's trials are promised a spiritual victory also there was the civic crown given to soldiers for bravery and selflessness christians who remain steadfast under persecution or trials are seen as heroic in God's kingdom and will receive the ultimate honor, eternal life. The crown of life mentioned here refers to the eternal reward God gives those who persevere under trials and remain faithful. And in this context, it's not a literal crown, but a metaphor for the spiritual reward of eternal life and God's favor. Toby Mack, a popular Christian musician, faced one of the hardest trials of his life in 2019 when his eldest son, Truett Foster McKinnon, passed away suddenly at the age of 21. This devastating loss, uh, devastating loss tested Toby's Ma uh, Toby Mac's faith in ways he had never experienced before. As a father and a prominent figure in Christian music, Toby Mac found himself in deep grief trying to reconcile his pain with his faith in God's goodness. And despite the heartache, Toby Mac continued to trust in God. He released the song 21 Years as a tribute to his son, openly sharing his grief journey with the world. Through the lyrics, Toby Mac expressed both the pain of losing his son and his hope in God's eternal plan, even when it's difficult to understand. His openness and perseverance inspired many, showing that faith can remain strong even in the darkest moments. Toby Mac's story resonates deeply with James chapter 1 verse 12, 
where enduring trials brings forth a deeper faith and a crown of life. Though the loss of his son was heartbreaking, his steadfast faith and trust in God brought healing and his music continues to touch lives across the world. What are some key takeaways and success principles found in today's verse? Trials test uh, and refine our faith. Challenges are not meant to break us, but to strengthen our character and trust in God. And those who endure trials will, uh, with faith will receive eternal rewards from God, including the crown of life. When we persevere through trials, we become spiritually mature, more resilient and better equipped to handle future challenges. In other words, endurance always leads to spiritual growth. Some practical life applications. Trust God in difficult times. Rather than seeing trials as setbacks, view them as opportunities for growth. Lean on God and his promises during these times. Focus on the eternal reward. Keep your eyes fixed on the crown of life promised to those who endure. This mindset shifts your perspective from the temporary pain of trials to the eternal blessings that come from uh, perseverance. Develop spiritual endurance. In your personal life, develop the habit of prayer, Bible study, and worship to build spiritual stamina. In your professional life, use setbacks as learning experiences that strengthen your work ethic and resolve. In conclusion, while Roman society and even our world today highly valued physical achievements, military conquests, and earthly honor, the crown of life James refers to points to something far greater than worldly success. It signifies a spiritual reward that could not be achieved through strength or status, but only through faithfulness and endurance in Christ. James 1 chapter uh, James uh, 1 verse 12, beg your pardon, offers a promise of blessing to those who persevere under trial. The trials we face are not random. They are opportunities for growth and spiritual maturity. As we endure with faith, God is refining our character and preparing us for greater blessings, including the crown of life. No matter what challenges you're facing, know that God sees your perseverance and will reward your faithfulness. Trials may come, but through Christ, you have the strength to endure and rise victorious. Now, here's a declaration to make and meditate on throughout today. I declare, I am strong in the Lord and persevere through every trial. I am not shaken by hardship, for I know that God is refining my faith and preparing me for greater blessings. I stand firm and receive the crown of life he has promised. In Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you for listening and taking action. I trust this episode has impacted you. Please subscribe so you'll never miss an episode. Also, if you know anyone who could use these truths, please share with them and be sure to rate us on Spotify, Apple Podcast, or wherever you get your podcast. Jesus entrusts us with the responsibility of being salt and light in the world. Both traits are nouns and verbs, who to be and what to do. Romans 8, 19 says, the world is waiting for us to demonstrate God. So go out, make a difference today, even if it's just one heart at a time. May the grace of God empower you, his wisdom instruct you, and his love secure you. In Jesus' name, thank you and God bless. Have a restful weekend and see you again next week. Thank you.